Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mesh 3. In today's video, we will see how we can easily integrate Facebook single sign-on in a .NET Core application. Now the prerequisite for this video is the application should have the .NET Identity Razor library already added to the project. As long as you have that, then all you have to do is do some configuration on Facebook, add few lines and NuGet package, and you should be up and running. But before we get into all of those details, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, that way you are always notified when I release a new video. With that, let me switch back to the project where I already have the .NET identity added and we will look at the steps for Facebook login. I have an application here and let me go to register. This is an application in .NET 8 and we already have Microsoft login that is configured. Now even if you do not have Microsoft login enabled, if you follow the exact same steps that I am doing, Facebook login will work in your application. What we have to do here is stop the application and we need to install a new kit package for Facebook login. Let me go back here, manage new get packages. In the browse tab here, let me search for Facebook and we have Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot authentication dot Facebook new get package. Make sure to install the latest version here and let me wait for that. Perfect, the package has been installed here. Let me stop that. And in your project, you will basically open the program.cs file. There we need to add a configuration. Where you have builder.build. Before that, I have added the Microsoft account. But for Facebook, you will add builder.services.add Facebook. Well, it will be add authentication. Dot add Facebook. There we need to configure a few options. We have to configure the client ID, add a comma here, and we have client secret. In order to get these two values, we have to go back. Let me open developer.facebook.com and there I will create a new application. They have modified the UI here and where you have what you want to do, you will typically select allow people to log in with their Facebook account but do not select that. Make sure and make sure you select other here and hit the next button. There if you notice we want to create a consumer app where we have Facebook login. Let me select that. The app name here let me call that identity manager and let me create that app. We will enter the password here and that will create app in developers.facebook.com. Perfect. Once that is done here, you will have Facebook login. If you do not see that, you will select add product and then you will set up the Facebook login. And there we have the web project. We need the URL. Let me run the application as it is. That way we will get the localhost URL for our Facebook login. We have an error here with the app ID. Let me comment this out for now and run the application. We have not provided the client ID or client secret. Because of that we have that error. But once I run the application again, let me grab the URL. That looks good. Let me go back. Let me save that here. Continue. And we do not need any other configuration. But in Facebook login, we have settings tab. Let me click there. And there we need to provide valid OAuth redirect URI. We will paste our URL. And then we will write sign in hyphen Facebook. This must exactly match. If you do not have sign in forward slash Facebook after the URL, it will not work. So make sure to have that valid redirect URI, save the changes, and that's about it. Then let me go to app settings, basic here, we have the app ID here, 
Let me copy that and comment this. In the client ID, we will paste that and we need the app secret. Copy and paste that here and that's about it. Let me restart the application and see if that works. Let me go to login here, click on Facebook and perfect. We need to submit the app for review. It is displaying a warning there, that's okay. But let me continue here as Brugain and it should redirect me to the callback page where it will ask me to register. Perfect. It says you have successfully authenticated with Facebook and if I hit the register here, it will automatically sign me in and great. With that you can see how easy it is to configure Facebook social login in an existing .NET application. Now I hope you enjoyed the free video and for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and I will see you guys in some other video.